Hey, what's up guys? Mr. Free Coiner coming back to you again. Hope you guys are doing well and you've been taking care of yourselves. So, I tried to record this just a couple minutes ago and I found out that um yeah, I lost the I lost the recording, so I'm doing it again. Um now, why am I on today? Well, at the very end of this, I found something kind of interesting. Um and we'll talk about it. But I know it's been a while since I have posted. A lot has happened. We've seen the former President Trump uh, seen an attempt on his life. He, you know, just miraculously got through it, uh, which was a great thing. A lot of people are saying that it was staged. Um, I think, yeah, I think um, we can pretty confidently say it probably wasn't staged um yeah i don't think i would or any thinking person would actually put themselves in the line of fire uh, especially when other people were injured and unfortunately one person was uh you know didn't make it um so now with that aside it looks like our favorite president, as they call him, Sleepy Joe, is no longer going to, as he says, he won't seek re-election. And he endorsed Kamala Harris, right? Now, I'm pretty sure I can speak for a whole lot of people out there, and probably not everybody, but a lot of people. When I say, I don't think she would be the best uh, best person to take the spot, right? Um, don't think they'll be getting it. I think with the uh, attempt on Trump's life going so sourly, they essentially now whoever it was that was behind it. Um, when I say that's what I, that's who I mean when I say they, uh, they essentially handed him the uh, presidency, and and I believe a lot of people are actually preparing for it. I think. The markets are also um, seeing it as a positive because, you know, not that it it really needed uh, a narrative like that, but it definitely doesn't help because Trump is now very crypto friendly. He has said uh, in his speech um, just recently here that he supports crypto, he support, supports uh, self-custody, he supports you know, everything that we've been looking for, uh, definitely uh, that we didn't get from Biden, who was, <laughs> I mean, not only was he anti-crypto, he was anti-us making a living whatsoever. Uh, but hopefully we'll see some better days uh, if Trump does, you know, that's a if he does actually uh, make, it, make it back into the White House. Now, Looking back at the market, everything is it's looking, you know, fairly positive. Uh, things are up for the most part. We had a little bit of red here in the last one hour, but overall, in the last 24 hours and and uh, over the last week, it's all been green and uh, up very, you know, significantly. Uh, we got Solana's up 20 uh, 20 percent in the last seven days, four percent in the uh, last. Uh, 24 hours and then some other marginal gains for some of the other coins now one coin that I did get into uh, it's called turbo um, honestly I, I I didn't even think about it doing in much of anything I heard a little bit about it from a couple of people but I just decided to actually buy in I mean it not nothing hugely significant I mean a very uh, small percent of my uh, of my wallet or of my portfolio, but um, it's it's done remarkably well, and that just kind of goes back to the the thought that or the understanding that doing well in crypto when it comes to like these meme coins and just these one off coins, uh, doing well there it's like it's it's very much like hitting the lottery. You don't know what's actually going to really go right um 
some of the old favorites that we that we've been a part of uh ethereum obviously um bnb did well at one you know it came up i mean i remember several years ago when it was just twenty dollars and i had I, I think at one point i had uh, a couple hundred coins and uh you know you go on down obviously xrp has been snubbed it's up but it is up 11 percent in the last couple of days it had gotten up to uh, i think it was about 68 cents 69 cents and we got um, Doge, uh, Cardano. I mean, things are looking bright for the crypto market. And I think with the prospect of Trump, who is, again, crypto friendly now, uh, making it back into the White House, it gives us gives us a lot to look forward to. Now, if Kamala now, oh, yeah, actually, I was listening, not listening. I was reading on uh, X just a little while ago. Uh, someone was saying that Kamala should come out as pro crypto as that would help her campaign. But like it, it's I mean, just for someone to actually say something like that, it's just it just really speaks to the ignorance of people, um, because to even think that Kamala, who is very much like Joe, who was or is very anti-crypto or anti really much of us much of anything that's good for us uh, if she did come out saying something like that we know it would be a lie so if anyone did vote for her based on that they're oh, not the sharpest knife in the drawer i'll say okay so yeah again biden won't seek re-election uh trump you know, <laughs> we know what's up with Trump. He's uh, he's definitely pro now. And we can go ahead and get rid of that. Now, I wanted to talk about this. So, I'm not one for going into anymore. I used to be uh, part of the whole, you know, Riddler and bearable this and that. Not, not necessarily part of it, but I would kind of look to it and 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 try to see if there was anything of significance coming out of it you know kind of getting my hopes up based on these things now we've all evolved from that uh, I, I mean at least i know i have but when it comes to this right here it might seem uh very much out of bounds and as you can see if you're not actually looking at the video it, there's uh, an article here it says xrp news xrp analyst predicts 710x surge to 305 dollars amid bullish candlestick patterns now maybe not to that level 305 dollars is a big ask however we know how far xrp jumped in uh, 2017 now I've told this I've told this particular uh, story several times back in March or April and you can go and look at look at it for yourself there was a period where I just and I didn't know anything about XRP all I knew at the time uh, was what I heard it, uh, they were talking about it was a banker's coin which you know I, I back then I didn't do a whole lot of research I was just going off of what people were saying just very new to the market so i thought you know what i'll take a little gamble because at the time i i had several bitcoin i had uh i you know and that was really what i was into just bitcoin obviously as a new person in and i put a tenth of a bitcoin towards xrp which at the time when i bought it it was only six tenths of a cent now this was i think it was in april um i'm pretty sure it was in april there was a period there if you go and look yourself you can see where xrp dipped to uh, 0 0.006 so like i said i bought uh, a tenth of a bitcoin worth which was like i mean it was like 20 cents oh, not 20 cents but uh it was like 25 or uh it's around 20 something dollars I uh, ended up getting like 
2500 XRP. Well, not long after that, I think it was maybe a month, month and a half. Uh, I can't remember exactly, but I ended up selling it at 20 cents. And the only reason why I sold it was, <laughs> was because I was afraid or not necessarily afraid. It was just that I kept hearing this whole banker's coin thing, you know, uh, several people I was kind of listening to, which, again, when you don't do your own research, um, you can get swayed by people who are actually out there just to pump their bags. Right. They want you to get into something or get out of something so they can get you into something that actually benefits them. So just be careful of that. Always. Uh, there are several YouTubers who do this type of thing. So be careful. But anyway, I made money on it and I didn't get back into XRP until after the bull run was over in that 2017, 2018 time period. Well, and that's when I created my channel, which was back in June of 2018. And um, here we are now. Uh, so getting back to the article, is this possible? Well, anything is possible, right? I'm going to go a little bit more conservatively. Okay. Now, the last um, bull run we had in 2021, there were some predictions that I made. And those predictions were based on a 4X from the previous all-time high. And I'm going to tell you, most of, the, most of those predictions that I made about the coins that I had they were pretty much, you know, they were very close. Actually, they were under a fair bit under the actual all time high. But they were at a point where I made a very good profit. Now, if we look at where XRP last hit its all time high, which was in uh, 2018, uh, January of 2018, right, which was three dollars and 84 cents some somewhere thereabouts now if we extrapolate that out and we say okay i'll say five say it, it does a 5x from its last all-time high now this is just don't get me wrong it could be very much very much more than this it could be uh, you know it could be 10 times 20 times you know it could be this 710 times um, it, you know, it just depends. Like here, they say things like this. It just depends on where they're actually, uh, where their actual starting point is. So I'm just picking the last all-time high. So we look at 5x from the last all-time high. That's $19. Now, this is if XRP had gone, you know, actual to its full peak in 2020, 2021 right when it when the actual bull market did happen it would have hit somewhere around here maybe 20 25 dollars right so but we'll, we'll be very conservative and we'll say 19 dollars and 20 cents okay so this is where it should have been in the during the last bull run now in this cycle if we extrapolate this out 5x we're looking at a possible $96. Now, me personally, I think this is where it should go. Now, do I know it will happen like this? No, I don't. I could be very wrong. Please do not take this as any advice or anything like that. I'm not a financial advisor. I was, you know, we have to put that disclaimer out there. I'm not a financial advisor. I am a spectator uh, or no, not a spectator. I'm a speculator. <laughs> So I'm just speculating and I'm hoping and wishing and oh, just like the rest of you, but just using a little, you know, a little uh, history and what I would possibly expect. I'm saying it's a possible somewhere around ninety six dollars. Now, when you, you know, we don't know, but hopefully we have something like this now. If it did, let's just say if it did hit $96, right, 
where would you be sitting if you just had 10,000 XRP? Well, I'm pretty sure we can already see how this is going to turn out, but I always like to put the numbers out there. So we'll multiply it by 10,000. That's a pretty good payday, right? That's a pretty good payday. I don't know about you, but I think that would be a great, I mean, that would do very, that would do wonders for myself. So again, we don't know what it could do. Uh, 2017 was one of the biggest, if not the biggest, uh, bull run in crypto that's ever happened. Um, so is it possible that could happen again this year? Uh, you know, because it's, I for also believe this bull run has to, it has to commence and hit its peak um, here very soon. Because if the Fed starts to cut rates, it's going to take the steam out of crypto. It's going to take the steam out of markets. Um, with the way things are going right now, you know, the, the, the financial markets are not going to withstand what's coming. We are already in a recession. A lot of people may not want to accept that, but we're in a recession. Housing market is uh, on, it's on its last legs. We are about to hit a very uh, tough time in the U.S. So I think um, it would be a good idea to just be very watchful. Um, don't, you know, again, I'm not a financial advisor, okay, or financial uh, you know, financial person or anything, right? I'm just telling you what I'm thinking and the way I am conducting myself. Not buying, making any big purchases, not buying a home, anything like that. It's, uh, it's probably a bad time right now. Actually, personally, I sold my house. I made a mistake and I bought a, a vehicle, but honestly, it was kind of necessary. Um, so, uh, not not make again not making any big purchases right now. I think if we're patient uh, on the other side of this, uh, once you know the bull market's over and we get into this recession, we could be looking at times or or prices and and whatnot uh, that are close to or similar to the way things were during that 28 uh, 2008 uh, rather uh, to 2012 time frame. Um, so, yeah, just be watchful, be patient, and let's get through this thing. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough. A lot of people going to have a hard time out there. And just a, another thing, be uh, be watchful for you know for the safety of yourselves and your families. Um, there's there's a lot going on. There's a lot going on. I mean, I'm I'm sure you guys. We are on X and, you know, all these different uh, social media platforms and you're seeing some of the crazy things that are going on. So just, again, be careful, take care of yourselves, you know, and, and take care of your families. Um, with that being said, if you have not already done so, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button and the post notification button and come back and see me again. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Corner. Take care of yourselves. And God bless.